at the London 2012 Paralympic Games, I'm Coach Tim Frick with your Team Canada semi-final edition of Coach's Clipboard. In men's quarterfinal play, the steamroller known as Team Canada crushed Spain. It was a magnificent team performance as 10 players scored, led by the trio of Patrick Anderson, Joey Johnson and Bo Hedges with 16, 15 and 14 respectively. Semi-final Thursday. We'll see our men tackle host Great Britain while Australia takes on USA. Veteran Bo Hedges spoke of Canada's exceptional teamwork. It was a good team effort out there and uh, it's just a commitment by everybody through the, the last two years uh, to train and uh, and uh, to rely on one another and to believe in one another that we can all put the ball in, uh, in the hoop. And about facing GB again. They got a lot of good shooters and a lot of good players and uh, the home courts uh, it's going to help them as well so it's going to be a big it's going to be a tough game and a fun game to play. In women's quarterfinal action Canada jumped out to a 21 to 10 lead against USA only to see foul trouble shatter their podium dreams. A disappointed yet united Canadian squad will face Mexico in the 5 through 8 consolation semi-final. There is no gold medal for bad luck and the young Canadian women certainly didn't deserve this fate. An extra basket made or stopped would have changed the tiebreaker result and this would have been a whole different report. There is competitive parity in the women's division as eight countries are legitimate medal contenders. It is also important to realize how frickin hard it is to reach the podium at the Paralympics. Let's celebrate both teams as they strive for Paralympic excellence. To find all of the latest results, highlights and scores, be sure to bookmark wheelchairbasketball.ca and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Flickr. Tune in to Coach's Clipboard on Friday to get the inside scoop on Team Canada heading into the medal rounds. For Wheelchair Basketball Canada, I'm Coach Tim and I'm freaking off to go and see Bill and Ben, the Flowerpot Men. You might have to Google that one. <laughs>